Hello everybody and I hope you're having a fantastic day and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you could officially farm fruits or the best way to farm fruits whatever I'm going to name the title or whatever you feel like you should really call us it's your choice to be honest but I'm going to teach you a really the, probably the best way you could possibly farm fruits in this game. So in this video I'm actually going to cover expectations and the mindset you want to have. I'm going to cover where to find the fruits and then I'm going to cover something some of you may know about but I literally learned if I I'm not sure if I come but like I'm I'm making this video on the 11th so the morning of the 11th by the way I'm making this video today the same night when I come out with it is unknown I have no clue when I'm coming out with the video but for me today on the 11th <laughs> I just figured out how these stats work for these lemons so I'm going to be explaining that too because if you understand it you can literally farm 25% less than what you should, or at least 25% less uh, than what you would have to farm in the first place for whatever you're working on if you know what you're doing. So, with that being said, let's get into this. Now, I did, like, I'm, I'm trying to emphasize on efficient because I'll show you. Hold on. I'm actually going to take you guys and gals to the web with me. Okay, so here we are on the web, and... And even me, even somebody who gives you guys, gives you help and all this stuff, I'm, I'm a UL YouTuber, even I still have the habit of going, using a search bar, whether it's Google, DuckDuckGo, I like DuckDuckGo personally, sometimes I will use Google as a backup, or maybe as a plan B to reassure what I'm actually searching is what I'm actually searching, but I usually use DuckDuckGo, so even I have a <laughs> habit of using the search bar, I, I do a lot of research, so I use the search bar a lot, I'm still used to it, even though I'm the one really giving you guys the guides and stuff like that. When I see something new, I'm still used to looking it up. And of course, like usual, you don't get a lot of info out of these people. Or maybe it's just not, it doesn't click with you. So you like my channel, you watch my videos instead. Regardless of so, uh, good work. Shout out to you people. I'm not dissing you, but the info that you, you guys kind of gave was not enough. And I'm here to give you a better guide than what they get. They don't even tell you the. They don't even tell you where they are. Like it took me five to fifteen minutes. Forgot the exact time. Sorry to actually find these missions. I, I had no clue where they were located. I didn't know which stage they were, what map they were, anything of the sort. And this is when also um, Sigurus was also coming out too. So I had no clue where these were. <laughs> I had a lot of looking to do. And then at the end of the day, when I found out where these were, they're like 32 AP each to do. And with the rates that you actually get fruits, uh, and how much AP you can actually have, which I think is like, what, now 190 something, 180, 150, something around there. It takes around five, six, seven times to even really like, obtain fruits. Well, not, it takes five, six, my bad. It takes five, six, seven times to lose all that AP. And then you gotta wait for nearly whatever how much AP you already had in the first place and with that being said you might the average of you getting like fruits from seven quests would be three of those quests three out of seven of those quests is the average you would be getting fruits doing those missions being granted it will vary but I'm just saying the average the it's close to as estimate as I could think of when you're actually doing that so that right there is an extremely efficient farm. Like, if, if they're going to be, like, 30-something AP, they better be giving me two star fruits. Them chests better be giving me 100% rates because the fruits only drop from the chest. So, <laughs> and I sadly, that's not the point. That's that's not what's going to happen. If our monkey year, man, a thousand times for the gold, primarily speaking, and the fruits I was getting there were no two star. They were absolutely not two star defensive fruits whatsoever. So, and the rates are as same as the way I'm going to be showing you as well. And it's a lot cheaper. Plus, like, when I was doing Monkey or Man, at 700 or 800k, I had to get lucky with using my monsters. So I had good monsters, and I got lucky at 700 or 800k to even do the, like, even solo it. I had to get lucky at that gear score. So I know it's going to be difficult for some of you. And then on top of it, like, just doing these missions takes a while. Even if you can do them, they can take a while, and it's just really inefficient. So you're losing a lot of AP, you're wasting time trying to beat down these bosses or hard enemies, and then on top of it, you're, like, using a lot, I, I think I already said it, but using a lot of AP. 
and wasting a lot of time doing these missions when instead you could be doing a lot uh, simpler missions than these this is a better guide for sure than the previous one but I got even a better guide for you like he says though right here um, bring is you probably want to bring you could be like actually you could be a berserker right with kill dance to kill the enemies quickly and then if you got friends that are treasure hunters bring them because treasure hunters are the only way you're going to be actually um boosting rates now you're not going to exactly be boosting rates but the chance of you getting more fruits is going to be more likely because i'm actually going to head back on unison league it's going to start up so i'll be right back okay so we are back on unison league so i'm pretty sure all of you know this but just in case you don't they have a bonus that allows you to get double chests so it's a chance it's it's a one out of four chance that you're actually getting a double chest but with more treasure hunters on the field it, you could kind of like re-roll and retry over and over for this one out of four chance so that way you're more likely and you don't have boosted rates but you're more likely let's say to be technical to actually get double chests because again fruits are going to only appear out of that chest so with that being said let's get into the actual video i'm going to try to wrap this up quick i don't want this too long I've already tried to do this video countless of times already and some reason I can't tell if I'm not recording or it's just so long that it stops recording instantly and it doesn't record my video so with that being said let's get to it okay so the first thing I want to talk about is the pet statting the pets with this pet statting you want to be careful with this like I said I learned this actually this morning before I actually made this video and I came out with it but made this video that this is like for example I thought this was an archer stat dragon this is not an archer stat dragon. What they're trying to tell you is, and these arrows, I thought personally also were image glitches. I mean, it's a team. They have a lot of image glitches. I'm talking like, I like you can already see one right here. Like the arrow is like the sword and the arrow kind of like merged together right there. If that's not enough proof for you, they got like moves that are not like 100% placed in the circle, and then you got like teammates on top of like I've I've seen like my character my avatar a couple disappear when playing unison league or i seen like one of us on top of like our unison <laughs> or i seen stuff like um perhaps like one of like one of my friends one of my teammates i should probably say one of my previous guildmates just riding on top of the enemy monster while we're attacking it like they got frame glitches they got image glitches for sure so i thought this was another image glitch that they didn't fix and i was like okay so this is an archer stat but that's not the case these arrows are actually here for a purpose what they're here to tell you is whenever attack fruit like these this is an attack symbol so for any attack fruits you're getting a 50 percent boost than you regularly would but with defensive fruits you're getting 50 percent less than you regularly would so you have to work double as hard to get that magic attack that you want but you have to work half as hard to get that attack that you want so let me show you right here actually if you want to do the math you can okay so as you can see, if you actually do the map, unfortunately, you're going to have to do a little map because I already got some attack and magic defense um, on these dragons. But 640, between 640 and 675 is actually going to be 35 difference. If you want to pause and do the map, feel free so that way you can assure what I'm talking about is actually true. And this right here is just a solid 35, 0 to 35, so you don't even have to work on that. But, like said, Magic Attack doesn't give a lot, as you can see right there, with a the small arrow. This one has a big arrow, this one has a small. So, as you can see right there, and proof right here, Magic Attack doesn't give as much as Defensive Magic Defense. They're neutral. They don't, they don't have more, but they don't give less, so they're neutral. This right here, the Magic Attack gives less, as you can see. And if you want to look at the attack fruit uh 20 to 70 20 40 50 60 70 that's about 50 i believe i think that's 52 so that's more than 35 if you want to do the math you can you can pause the video absolutely your choice but that right there is pretty much what i wanted to talk about so that way you can farm less you don't have to work as hard as you may have before at least if you just recently figured this out so with that being said let's go over the places that they actually are Okay, so I'm going to start off. I'm not sure if you can see the text, but I'm going to show you the magic attack place, the place for magic attack fruits first, and then I'm going to show you the place with attack fruits. As you can see right there, there are a lot less AP, and that's the good thing. That means you can farm them a lot more. Like, with the issue with all these maps is it doesn't matter which one you farm. 
I can tell you from experience, it doesn't matter which one you find, unless they updated this last time I did this, but when I did this, and I don't think they change it, because it doesn't all, it doesn't make them money on like spawns, so I don't think they're going to change it. <laughs> Anyways, moving on from there. Um... <laughs> I don't think they're I don't think they changed it so with that being said these fruits are all going to offer one star and they're all going to drop out of the chest for similar rates it doesn't matter which one of these missions you pick so with that being said you might as well pick missions that make it easy on you so that way you can kill them easier and it costs a lot less AP and that's what I'm pretty much doing for you guys and gals out there so you don't have to worry about doing like the end of Gravita having to be like 800k, 900k, 700k. You might have to be 600k or 500k to do this, but for sure, the AP you're using, you're using 6, I know for one of those missions that I showed you, you're using 6 AP. By the time you're done doing 3 missions, that 6 AP will recover. Or maybe even 2 missions, that 6 AP will recover. So you can keep going and going and going. And it's very AP efficient, especially if you want to work on like farming fruits and like another event at the same time because I know Unison League sometimes likes to go hard on their events like with Coliseum, Dual Rooms, not Dual Rooms, um, I meant Coliseum, uh, 40 Cost Dragons, uh, what else they got cooking? Mobius, uh, Rank Guild Raids, Rank Guild Battles, they go crazy on all the stuff so you want to like work on both, best of both worlds, it's good to get the job done like I could go on my Treasure Hunter for like these missions and press autoplay and be on like my xbox or something while doing this so it's very very awesome very very helpful that you could do that so i don't have sadly um i know some of you might be like okay azur that's awesome this is a great guy but i don't see any defense or magic defense fruits places i don't know any and you're not showing any unfortunately i don't have any i didn't record the issue with this is um, the reason I never came out with this beforehand is I truly did not care about pets and I was not about to fake guy I was not about to fake a guide for you guys and gals out there I wasn't gonna be like this is how you do this and this is how you do that without any prior experience to it I've actually went through the ringer so I can show you what I actually went through and give you some guides some tutorials and some clairvoyance I think I said that word right with doing this so <laughs> I was about to give you no guide and I didn't give no craps about no pets I, I didn't I completely almost ignored the um, whole pet system all I did was add a little bit of hindsight to what I may need to do if I ever worked on pets I'm an archer so I want to make sure I had the attack and magic attack fruit places down just in case I ever wanted to work on them and I did I didn't care about defense or magic defense because I didn't work on any of that so unfortunately I don't have that but what I can do is, if you want to, you can, um, if any of you know where to, these uh, fruits are, uh, put them in the comment below. I will pin a random person. Uh, make sure what you're commenting though, make sure you got like the land, like the Carmel area, Sacred Land of Ludus, put the stage, and then the mission name. So that way people can see it. If you do so, I will give you a shout out on my next video if you want to or you could be in my video or if you want like a hand to hand help like if you if you want like me like face to face contact guy type deal with you well I can absolutely do that I can take time out of my day to help sure ensure you have a better smooth sale with this UL whole UL experience if you want I could be like your actual tutor for a few not like forever but like for a few um, I don't have the time, I'm sorry. <laughs> or I can help you with your videos if you plan on doing YouTube, or if you want to know how I do YouTube, I can show you. I'm not, I don't have a setup like Demonic Kid, though. My setup's pretty hood. And in a later video, I'm going to be showing that in the first place, but if you want early access, I can show you how I do my YouTube videos. You're going to be pretty astonished, um, some of you at least, on how I do my YouTube videos. It is absolutely nothing impressive. I'm, I don't even have a desk to do my YouTube videos. I do all my YouTube videos on my bed. <laughs> so, with that being said, yeah, that would be greatly appreciated. Not just by me, but by the whole community who even looks at this video and checks it out. But if it's not below the comments for Defensive Magic Defense Fruits and where to find them, um, just come back some other time. It might be an hour later, it might be a day later, it might be a week later, I'm not exactly sure. But try to make sure that the, it doesn't matter which lane you choose them on. Try to find 
places that have defense and magic defense fruits less than f 15 AP or less is what I'm trying to get, um, what I'm going to try to look for. I might look for myself if I ever got the free time. But anyways, I want to get to the next part of this video to cut the short to make sure this video is short for you guys and gals or as short as possible because this video is already stupid long. Anyways, okay, so the next thing is expectations. Now, I farmed for a couple hours on the whole topic and subject purposely. I'm talking purposely. I found these fruits accidentally and low-key I've actually been farming the fruits well, I haven't really purposely farmed, like, um, I'd say 25% of my experience doing this, which has actually been actually kind of over an hour, so maybe even more than 25, I'd probably say 75%, has been accidental. By that, I'm talking, like, uh, these missions, they never, like, the ones I've been doing where I actually got the fruits, I was actually trying to get the gems for. <laughs> that's, that's how I found out about these. I was actually trying to get the gems for these missions. I'm like, you know what? I might as well farm fruits too while I'm doing this. So, I, I kind of got groovy with it, and I was like, well, I'm waiting out the gems to, to finally drop after, like, the 10 or 15 times of doing these missions sometimes. They finally dropped. <laughs> so, um, what I noticed is, um, I can't give you an actual drop mate, but based on, um, estimated, an es like an educated estimate, I would say it's going to be around the rates of them dropping from the chest, being granted the only thing they could drop from is the chest, is around 35 to 25% of a drop rate for these fruits to appear. Don't matter which one you're going for. Defense, magic defense, attack, or magic attack all have similar rates, all work near, I wouldn't say the exact same, that's a false statement, but near similar. Um, it's They're not earning gems, I'm not gems, they're not earning money by this, so they're not going to make a big deal out of this, because you know how 18 rolls. <laughs> Anyways, all jokes aside, yeah, they, they kind of work the same. So with expectations, um, you wanna, you're going to grind. You're going to grind. You're going to spend time on this. Maybe even hours, depending on what you're going for. If you're going for a couple fruits, you're not going to spend that much time. But if you're going for, like, if you're starting a new dragon from 0 to 9k, expect to be grinding pretty heavily. Um, there are times where I got, like, the highest streak I've ever gotten for fruits is going to be 5 in a row. So there is times where I've gotten a fruit streak where I just got nothing but fruits in a row in a row in a row for chess. And then there's times where I've gotten no fruits in a row. Um, the streak for that, I think, is between 6 and 10. So be warned that it's not guaranteed to drop. There is a decent chance for it to drop, but it's not guaranteed. And to make it smoother, you're probably going to want a treasure hunter and expect to be there for hours if you plan on getting lots of fruits. And they're one star. You can't farm two stars, sadly. I wish you could. If you can, I guess this video will be invalid then. But for now, this is the most efficient way I've found to farm for the fruits. I hope your grinding, your journey, your travel, your hustle goes well or whatever you're doing. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And I hope this helped. This is the Azeroth. I'm out. Peace.